How to start a rickshaw business. There is no real answer to the question how to start a rickshaw business, as there are many many variables that go into the rickshaw business, even in the rickshaws themselves. There are many different kinds of rickshaw, from many different manufacturers however the two most popular would be a hand pulled rickshaw and a bicycle driven rickshaw. The bicycle driven being the more expensive, as there are more moving parts. There are basically three ways you can make money operating a rickshaw business. 1. Charging customers per trip. Many operators charge a fee based off time, while others will charge for distance covered. If a particular route is popular, many rickshaw operators will advertise a flat fee for that route. Many operators also have an upcharge for more than one person riding or any luggage. 2. Special event chartering. This is where you charter your service for the whole day, week or even month. You will agree a fixed fee up front. The most popular charters are special events such as corporate meetings and other one-off events such as weddings or milestone birthdays. The potential income you can generate from chartering your rickshaw is less per hour, but the upside is an amount that is generally paid in advance and guaranteed. Drivers will usually receive healthy tips. It takes time, however for you to establish enough of a reputation for customers to call on you to work their event. Advertising is often necessary to keep your name in front of the public, adding to your operating expenses. Even with a strong reputation at advertising, it is rare for a pedicab business to obtain a sufficient number of charters to operate a profitable business on charter income alone. For this reason, nearly all pedicab businesses rely heavily on work where they are paid by the trip. Try cross-marketing with other vendors who also try to get business from such events, i.e. florist. 3. Advertising Market your rickshaw business to all the local businesses as a way to advertise. You stand out from the crowd and conversely can move with the crowd. You can set your rates as high or low as you wish. The greatest thing about using your rickshaw to advertise is you still have the ability to pick up customers and therefore generating revenue. Trolling for passengers with a pedicab. Getting paid by the trip requires trolling or riding around finding people willing and able to pay for a ride. This can be very profitable or extremely frustrating depending on conditions. Three things are required to make trolling for passengers profitable. 1. A crowd of people who too have money they're willing to spend for a ride and 3. Have to walk a short distance to get somewhere. Let's look at each of these. A sufficiently dense crowd of people, only a small proportion of any crowd is willing and able to pay to ride in a pedicab. If there aren't enough people, it's impossible to earn adequate revenue for your time. Money they're willing to spend. Children and young teenagers love to ride in a pedicab, but they usually have little or no money to pay for it. Senior citizens appreciate getting a ride when they need one, but often don't have enough money to spend, or are unwilling to spend very much for the privilege. Middle-aged people usually don't need a ride or rarely seem interested. Young adults generally are generally the most profitable customers, as they usually are the most liberal with their money. Have a short distance to walk. People will usually accept a ride if they have to walk more than a few blocks. Shorter than that, they tend to walk. If they need to travel more than a mile, passengers usually aren't willing to pay enough to make it worth your time to carry them that distance. I have worked many events that didn't meet these criteria and ended up wasting a lot of time. If an event doesn't draw many people and require them to walk a little distance and spend money to enjoy themselves, you likely aren't going to make much money, if any at all. You will need to be fit and healthy to run a rickshaw business. You'll be outside all day and night trying to get business. If you live in a tourist area this can be a great seasonal business that will afford you a lot of time off. Licensing for rickshaws can sometimes be problematic as local city councils do not typically know how to classify them. I have seen many pedicab businesses operate on a tip on the basis, as local council will not give them an appropriate license. With this being said make sure to get your licensing sorted before you go on to buy your rickshaws. Doing it the other way could see you at some expensive toys. 
How to expand your rickshaw business. It is recommended that you start with just one rickshaw to test the local market. However, once that proves fruitful, it's wise to invest in some more rickshaws. It's hard to keep lots of drivers honest, so the most profitable and safe way I have found is to charge your rickshaw drivers a weekly or perhaps daily rental fee. They will operate under your license as subcontractors, keeping all the fares and tips they accrue. You of course keep any revenue generated from advertising. If you get large enough, it will be worth your time and investment to form a central rickshaw rank way you can generate custom and store at your rickshaws.